and Last Paul came out 60 years ago. Uh, as much as the guitars remained the same over those past 60 years, they are constantly trying to upgrade it and make it better. This year for the 2012 Les Paul Standard, We've got two burst bucker pickups, and it's connected to four push-pull pots. So the pots on the volume control for each pickup affect what's called a coil tab, allowing you to get a single coil sound out of a humbucking pickup. The neck pickup's tone pot puts the pickup out of phase. The tone pot for the bridge pickup routes the wiring for the bridge pickup directly to the output jack without being affected by the volume or tone controls, allowing you to go from rhythm to searing lead tone just with the pull of a button. Gibson have done a great job designing this guitar with the player in mind. Not only does it have locking machine heads, which help keep your guitar in tune and make string changes a lot faster, but it also has a compound radius fingerboard. The fretboard is curved where you play chords, so it's nice and comfortable to play, and it's flatter where you're gonna be playing leads, so when you bend a big note, it doesn't choke out. Just like every guitar that leaves Gibson's Nashville plant, this instrument was put on a Plec machine before they shipped it out. The short version of what a Plec machine is, uh, it's a machine that gets the frets and the nut to the exact right height, uh, which gets you a playability that you just can't get by hand. The 2012 Les Paul also has an elliptical neck. What that means is that the base side of the neck has that nice chunky Les Paul feel that we're used to. But the treble side is a little bit thinner. Uh, so it makes playing lead lines a little easier. Gibson and the Les Paul have been household names for so long, uh, but it's nice to see some fresh ideas on a classic design. They've come up with a really versatile guitar. Uh, it's beautiful. I mean, this Desert Burst is my favorite. Uh, but you really gotta just get one in your hands and, and feel it and hear how it sounds.